Tonight, shelters along much of Florida's Gulf Coast are now open or getting ready to open for those in need. Reporter Katie Legrone takes you inside one school converted into a storm shelter and shares what you need to know before you go. I'm Katie Legrone in Tampa Bay, where local counties are now in the thick of preparing for Hurricane Ian by converting existing buildings into hurricane shelters. Local schools like this one behind me serving as the majority of them. I just put some little goodies inside Mrs. Valdez's second grade classroom in Hillsborough County. The desks have been moved, the chairs moved out, and a whiteboard typically covered in student instruction is replaced with a simple but comforting message. We're all here and we feel a little anxious and to keep that in mind, not just for themselves, but for their peers. Her school, one of 49 in the county, now officially under local government control as a hurricane shelter with enough space to hold in total upwards of 41,000 people over the next few days. From general shelters for special needs shelters, pet shelters, all to be able to make certain that we have a cohesive opportunity to be able to create safe moments for every one of our community members. It's a need expected to grow as Ian continues to threaten Florida's Gulf Coast. In some areas, mandatory evacuations are already underway. And with inflation still impacting the cost of gas, food and everyday items, local leaders are preparing for a surge in shelter seekers. With all the dynamics that are taking place in our community from inflation, but also just more of the safety measures. But they caution publicly operated hurricane shelters should be a last resort. We are again are, are not a resort is we have a lot of folks that will be here. It's going to be tight. Uh, there will be lines. People also advise to bring their own sleeping bags or cots and food if diets are limited. Little notebooks, crayons. Back in Mrs. Valdez's you know, class, she know. hopes her classroom serves not just as a safe space, but a comfortable one at a time when what's next still remains so unclear. If we have it, if we can share in that little bit of fellowship, especially in these times, it a little bit goes a long way. Shelters across the county began opening Monday afternoon. They will remain open until Ian no longer poses a threat. In Tampa Bay, I'm Katie Legrone reporting.